When working with multiple lists in Excel, you might find yourself in a situation where you need to maintain a master list containing all of the values. In this video, we are going to look at how to use Excel's dynamic functions to combine multiple lists into one master list that automatically updates. Let's get started. Here we have multiple employee lists broken down by department and we want to combine all of these lists into one master employee list. Instead of copying and pasting each list on top of each other manually like this, we can utilize Excel's new dynamic functions to combine all of these lists for us. To combine multiple lists into one column, we can use Excel's toCall function. toCall has three arguments. The first is the array argument, which is the array of data we're transforming into one column. The second is the ignore argument, which determines whether to ignore blanks or errors in the array when transforming. And lastly, we have the scan by column argument. The scan by column argument determines whether to scan the array by rows or by columns. Let's look at how we can use this function to combine all of these department lists into one employee list. I'm going to select the cell where we want the master employee list to start, enter the to call function, and now we need to select all the employees that we want to combine as the array argument. I excluded the header values because we don't want the department names to appear in our master list. Now let's enter the function and see what this looks like. Okay, this looks pretty good. Tucall combined all the employee lists for us, but we aren't quite there yet. We want the master employee list to include the employee's names and no other values. As you can see, the tucall function automatically set each blank cell equal to zero, so there are a bunch of zeros cluttering up our list. To clean this up, we can use the ignore argument to ignore all blank cells in the array to remove all the zeros. To do this, I'm going to go back into my toCall function in the formula bar and set the ignore argument equal to one to ignore all blanks. That looks much better. This argument is so helpful because it allows us to easily combine lists that aren't the same size. Let's take a closer look at this list. As you can see, the toCall function combined by row because first we have Kiki from accounting, then we have Taylor from marketing, LeBron from sales, and so on. I don't know about you, but my OCD is kicking in and I would prefer that the departments are combined one at a time. For example, accounting employees, then marketing employees, then sales, and so on, instead of having them all mixed together. Luckily, we can accomplish this easily with the scan by column argument. To combine the array by columns instead of by rows, we need to go back into the formula bar and set the scan by column argument equal to true to scan by column. Now we have each department stacked on top of each other and our master employee list is complete. The best part about using the to call function to combine lists is that it's dynamic. So let's say we just hired two new sales associates. When we add the new sales employees to the sales department list, they are automatically added to our master employee list. This saves us so much time from manually updating our list every time a new employee is hired. Let's look at one more example. Here we have the same employee list by department, but this time the lists are across each row instead of down each column. We want to combine each of these department lists into one master row containing all of the employees. Instead of using the to call function to do this, we need to use the to row function which essentially works the same, but this time it transforms an array into a row instead of a column. To use the two row function to combine each of these department lists into one row, I'm going to select the cell where we want the list to start, enter the two row function, select all the employees that we want to combine, set the ignore argument equal to one to ignore blank cells, and then hit enter. As you can see, we have successfully combined each department row into one row containing all of the employees. To wrap up, we learned how to use Excel's two call and two row functions to combine multiple rows and columns into one. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more.